The boss is normally that comes um, from Santa Cruz, and majority of them is bringing us vegetables through that area. Contraband, um, it's very challenging when it comes to this area due to the close neighboring country um, bordering just by um, the river. The river that customs officer Adrian Rancheran speaks of is the Rio Hondo, the northernmost tributary that forms a natural border with Mexico. Santa Cruz Village in Orange Walk sits on the bank of the river across from Botes, a well-known Mexican community where Belizeans, primarily from the north, visit to purchase contraband goods. Because there are no immigration or customs check-ins on either side of the river, it is just a random crossing for people. To facilitate the illegal crossing, residents on the Mexican side provide ferries that charge $5. The Rio Hondo provides a convenient and easy means for contrabandistas to smuggle goods across undetected. The anti-contraband operations cover extensive areas on the river and the dirt roads that lead to the Rio Hondo. In the absence of immigration and customs checkpoints in these hotspots, discouraging smugglers from carrying out their illegal business is a tall order. Total miles will be about, um, if you go by river, it will be about 90 miles or more, right? And um, well-known landings, we have approximately about 20. Along that 90 yes, miles. more um, known, well-known landings. Yeah. But apart from the known landings, we have more little smaller landings. Belizeans in Orange Walk use the Santa Cruz access road to frequent botes. They go to socialize, but upon their return, many of them stock up on contraband goods. It is a way of life for them when the patrols are not in the area. On November 30th, we accompanied a patrol team consisting of customs, Belize Agricultural Health Authority and Belize Defense Force personnel on one of the operations in Santa Cruz. That day, we boarded a Belize Defense Force vessel and accompanied the authorities upriver to look for signs of contrabandistas and their goods. Contraband agents come by road and they come by river, but our trip along 15 miles of the Rio Hondo today yielded nothing except for fresh footprints along the riverside, suggesting illegal pre-dawn activity. Whoever trampled through here earlier that morning, likely with their goods on their shoulders, walked bare feet. They came through this trail before dawn so authorities could not detect their presence. They probably had a small car or truck hidden in the bushes and drove out before the patrol reached the area. On the day we accompanied the patrol team, they had received information about contraband goods coming across the river. It meant that the officers must go by road to intercept the vehicle or vehicles and they must act quickly, most of the time driving on extremely bumpy roads as if it were a high-speed chase in order to reach the location in time. The vehicle coming out of Santa Cruz was a bus loaded with passengers and their contraband goods. Our cameras captured the patrol team confiscating a number of illegal items, goods that the passengers could not show any proof that they had legally imported those items. When the contrabandistas spotted the patrol from a distance, they hurled entire sacks of potatoes and other vegetables through the bus window. Here, the officers, already accustomed to that tactic, easily find the discarded goods and take custody of them. Mexican bears are banned in Belize altogether since we already have three breweries. But someone tested their luck and tried to bring across more than a case of Dos Equis bears, which at this time is in high demand, Rancharan indicated. We are heading, approaching Christmas season, which is a peak high in the demand of, of, um, of um, liquor, cigarettes, yeah. carrots, uh, vegetables is on high rise now. So at this time we have, we are, um, Having our presently, we are we are having our operations happening as as we speak, yes. having more vigilance in the areas. Our trek took us on a road so thick with mud that the four-wheel drive pickup truck that the law enforcers were in bogged. 
A few tries after the four-wheel drive feature did not help, our cameraman, George Tillett, saved the day while I video recorded it. The patrol down that road was cancelled and the law enforcers pursued a less treacherous one. We went to Blue Creek Community, which is further in Orange Walk, and which lies across from La Union, another Mexican village where Belizeans frequent for contraband supplies. That visit was not as eventful as the one in Santa Cruz.